Lindsay Perlman. On this edition of Eco News, we visit His Holiness Dorche Chung Buddha III Cultural and Art Museum in Covina, California, in the greater Los Angeles area. Housed in an historic 112-year-old school building, the landscape paintings, calligraphy, animal portraits, and unique sculptures reflect the beauty of the earth and inspire us to create peace on this planet. Let's take a look at some of the collection. My name is Eric Huang. I am a volunteer here at the H.H. Dorje Chang Buddha III Cultural and Art Museum. I will be doing the translation for this interview. Now let me introduce our president, Dr. Brian Tian. Welcome to the H.H. Dorje Chang Buddha III Cultural and Art Museum. Here you will find world-class art, the finest art there is in the world. I am in a museum in Covina, California, with beautiful artwork, Western style, Chinese style, all done by a very important person. But a lot of Americans might not be familiar with who His Holiness is. Could you tell us who he is? What his philosophy is. In December 2012, the U.S. Senate unanimously passed Resolution 614, in which the U.S. government recognizes His Holiness George Chang Buddha III's devotion to an immensely wide scope of humanitarian activities and the numerous awards His Holiness has received, including a President Gold Award for his contributions to arts, medicine, ethics, Buddhism, spiritual leadership, and U.S. society. Regent Buddhist Dharma kings and eminent monastics from various Buddhist sects have recognized, corroborated, and congratulated H. H. Dorje Chang Buddha III as being a true Buddha. In Buddhism, 
Dorje Cham Buddha is the primordial Buddha, the very first Buddha that took a physical form and the one who transmitted Buddha Dharma to all the Buddhas in the whole universe. All Buddhists, no matter what the Buddhism sect they belong to, practice Buddhism that was originally transmitted by Dorje Cham Buddha. H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III is the third time reincarnation of Dorje Cham Buddha in our world. His Holiness has manifested divine achievements in many areas, and art is only one of them. His wisdom is all encompassing and knows no boundary. For those of us who don't speak Chinese, what does Dorje Cham mean? H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III is the first Buddha in the history of this world who voluntarily benefits all people without accepting any offerings. His Holiness's teachings include caring for the earth. He has a love of nature. He wants peace among people. Is that why he creates his artwork to share that philosophy in an artistic way so that people will protect our environment better? Based on his profound wisdom, outstanding accomplishments, and the holy morality of a Buddha, H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III has pointed out a bright path for all people that leads to cultivating morality and advancing peace. The comprehensive achievements of H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III include those in Buddhism, philosophy, literature, science, medicine, art, and all other aspects of human culture. The book H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III documented some of his achievements in 30 main categories. These achievements by H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III not only demonstrate His Holiness's divinity, but also inspire us to follow his teachings to raise moral standards, purify our hearts, to help others and benefit the people. Only by doing so can our societies become harmonious and the world be peaceful. Visitors to our museum can see the great artworks by His Holiness and become inspired. It is our hope that they all bring back joy and happiness from the museum to their families and the communities. There are so many paintings and sculptures here, but I know that there is also a museum in San Francisco. How many pieces has he created and where are they located? All over the world? Although the art created by H. H. Dorje Cham Buddha III can be found in many museums and art places in the world, there is only one other museum, the International Art Museum of America in San Francisco, where the Yun sculptures can be seen. As said earlier, H. H. Dorje Chan Buddha III has made great achievements in at least 30 major categories. For art creations alone, there are Chinese paintings, Western paintings, ceramic tiles, art frames, sculptures, calligraphy art, landscape design, and many other things. I love the beautiful colors and shapes of the modern work. I love the Chinese landscapes. And of course, as an animal lover, the wildlife that is painted. Seems as though every picture I look at becomes my next favorite. What is the reaction of people? And what is your favorite? Ever since the grand opening of the museum, what we have constantly been hearing from the visitors is that they are awed and shocked by how pretty the artworks in the museum are. They are amazed by the quantity, the variety, and the quality of the museum's collections. They cannot believe that all the artworks are from the same great master.